let's work in some spreadsheets we're going to look at microsoft excel and we're going to do some of the count functions and see what's available for you in microsoft excel so what we've got over here is we've got a spreadsheet and we've got a whole bunch of items that are in these blocks or these cells over here so you can see a whole bunch of things yeah and we're going to use our we've got four count functions we want to go through and we're going to see how they work and what the results are so we're going to start off with the count function so i'm just going to when you type in equal to and then count what's nice is it actually tells you what that function does and counts the number of cells that contain numbers so that's the key thing about a count count counts only numbers so if I count all of these blocks, all these cells, I want you to look at those. I want you to count all the numbers. I want to see how many numbers you can find in that blue block there. See if you can count them. Got your answer because we're going to reveal the answer. And the answer is four. Okay, so the reason why it's four is because there's a number. That's one. That is not a number because it's a number. It's got text with it, but it's not a number. So that's a number that's a number that's a number and that's a number so there are four that's not a number because it's text with a number so it's considered text um, and so those two do not count excuse the pun so the count only counts numbers okay now we're going to look at count a i'm going to say equals count a and this counts the number of cells that are not empty so it counts basically all counts everything so I want you to look at this blue block again. I want you to count how many items are in that blue block. I want you to see if you can work out your answer before I press enter. Have you got your answer yet? Are you got your answer? Going, going. Boom, 10. Now, did you get nine? Ah, Mr. Long, you tricked them. What did you do? Well, in one of these blocks, it's actually, I think this one over here, I actually put a couple of spaces so it's you can't see anything in it but there's actually something in it that's a few spaces it still counts as something so that's why it counted so if i delete all these spaces that are in this block you'll see it goes to nine which makes more sense because it's one two three four five six seven eight nine so there are nine items in this block that counts everything whether it's a number or text it counts everything and it even counts if it's got spaces if it's just spaces so it's that also will count okay count blank so let's look at the count blank okay what does it say this right it counts the number of empty cells in the range so now that we delete that display those spaces now you can see all the cells that are empty i'm going to select all of them so what do you think your answer is going to be let's see how many of those blocks or those cells do not have anything in them got your answer is it seven well it's one two three four five six seven so there are seven of them okay so those three are quite nice there's the one that counts only numbers that counts everything and that counts anything that's got nothing in the cells or that are left empty now the count f is slightly different it, all of these have just needed a range we just need to give it the range to count in okay so all of these work with just the range now the count f is when you want to count something specifically so when you say count f you see counts the number of cells within a range that meet a given condition so there are two things we need to give account if two parameters there. there's the range and the criteria or condition so the range would be just wherever where we're looking we're looking inside this blue block here so i select the the cells that we want to look in and then we're going to put a comma now the criteria that's what we're going to put it's a rule in and you normally say like equal to something or if it's going to be greater than something and the rule for the criteria or condition is you must put it in double quotes so for example if we want to find how many cells in that blue block are greater than 15. so we can't say greater than 15 like that you've got to put it in double quotes so greater than 15. so we're looking in the blue block for all the cells that are greater than 15. if i press enter it'll say there are three cells so that's not greater than 15 that is greater than 15 that one and that one so there are three of them that are greater than 15 so that's the greater than 15 one now what happens if you want to count how many hellos there are in this uh, block so we can say equals count if and we're going to look in this range comma what are we looking for we're looking for the word hello so you can actually just type in the word hello if you're looking for it exactly like it is that would work 
Okay, so it finds two of them. Yes, there are two of them. And if I said equals hello, you get the same results. Now, is it case sensitive, Mr. Long? What happens if there was like a, a capital letter? Like if I come over here and type in hello in capitals, then it would still count it. It still considers it uh, as one of the options to have a low. So it does, it's not uh, dependent on the case. Now, what happens if it's part of a word? It's like hello there now that it does not consider because it's not equal to hello exactly so it's going to be the exact combination of that so that's why you that's how you have text so you look in the range and you criteria you put in double quotes okay so have we got that great so just remember with a count if you always have your range comma your criteria and your criteria must be in double quotes there we go we've gone through all the counts i hope you can count on this video to tell you how to do your excel well so that you can excel at excel so hope it has helped for more videos on excel go to our youtube channel um, subscribe we'd love to hear from you give us your comments and feedback and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way